Hey, it's me, it's Tom, Two State Reseller. Let's talk about some of the things that recently sold. First one is a flame resistant, big, heavy, work, workers dude, uh, heavy jacket. And this has got a, uh, a really nice hood, really nice lining. I paid up for this. I paid $24 and I thought for sure I was going to get in the 80s, 90s maybe even close to $100 because this this item didn't show anywhere and I started it off around $90 and I had to work my way down and I had it listed at 54 someone said would you accept 60 shipped so I calculated the shipping and shipping was $9.15 so I was only really lowering the price of the item for $3 so you know what Rather than this being my death pile, because as the sun, as the winter goes on and on, it gets it, it gets colder. These jackets will be in demand, but then you have to think: okay, in the middle of the winter, is anybody really going to buy a jacket they can only use for maybe a month? So I didn't get top dollar for it, but I sold it for a profit, and it's out of my office. So this is what I actually made on it. I I sold it for sixty. Shipping cost was nine fifteen. Item cost was twenty four, and I made nineteen dollars and eighty seven cents before income taxes. Did I think I was going to make more? Yes. Was I happy that I didn't make more? No, but I'm happy that I did make the sale because you know what, nineteen dollars and eighty seven cents. If you can make that on every item that you sell, not a bad thing, right? So maybe I just got to get over not getting, you know, thirty or forty dollars. So here's the next item that I sold. It's a uh, Land's End flannel plaid shirt. <clears throat> and I think I spent, I think this was one of the items that I bought for $2. So, you know, still made uh, $9, $10 on it. Here's another Columbia uh, sportswear button down. This is a new with tags. And uh, $19.99 with free shipping. I'm going to tell you what right now. I think eBay is evolving into the cheap skates marketplace. Nobody wants to play pay close to full value for anything on eBay anymore. Here is something that I showed on one of my sold videos, my haul, my, my haul videos. I sold it within uh, 24 hours. This is a magnetic therapy jacket and I picked this up for between four and six dollars. Sold it for 40 with shipping so I was happy that uh, this sold rather quickly because I didn't know it. I said, you know what, I, I've never heard of this jacket before. It looks like something that could be golf related. So I know people that like to golf usually pay up because when you think about it, it does cost a lot of money to golf. So people that play golf usually have expendable income. So hopefully that works out in the most cases that I, that I buy golf related things. Uh, here's a really cool piece of, uh, a Disney attire. This is a hockey jersey and it's a grumpy miners hockey jersey. I only saw two or three that were on eBay that actually were completed and all the completed were sold. So I picked this up. I think I paid eleven dollars for it. Sold for forty nine dollars. I put it in a uh, USPS padded flat rate envelope. Cost me six dollars and ninety cents. I was happy with the profit. <clears throat> this big heat portable electric heater, and I listed this. Um, I think it was forty five dollars because I based it on the comps. And for some reason, I was getting this funky error message from eBay, stating that I had to enter a product even when it was actively listed. You know, every day I would log into my eBay account and I would get this red notice that said. This is underperforming. You need to go check it out. So I read the or I read the listing and it said I needed to put it into a correct category. So you know I had to make some changes. And you know I've been doing this now for over twenty years, and I still make mistakes. And I freaking make a mistake on this. I I don't know how it changed to free shipping because this is a pretty heavy item. This is like four four uh, pounds. So you know I bought it for four ninety nine. Sold it for thirty two dollars. But that thirty-two dollars was supposed to be with shipping. I mean, plus shipping, and I somehow it defaulted to free economy shipping. Shipping, so I had to sell it um, at thirty-two dollars, and I think the shipping cost was eleven. So I still made money, but 
Even 20 years experience doing eBay, I still make stupid mistakes. Am I stupid? Probably. Am I ever going to stop making stupid mistakes? Probably not. That's what happens. You make mistakes and you just got to go on. So there you go. So that's my video. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, maybe you can like and subscribe. Thanks for watching my video.